It's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. And good afternoon, everybody. It's time for your Farm and Ranch News. Well, today, some big news for the U.S. beef cattle industry in that Japan has agreed to eliminate long-standing restrictions on U.S. beef exports, including that 30-month cattle age limit now paving the way for expanded sales to our US top global beef market. This morning, I talked with the Montana Stock Growers Association's President Fred Wacker about the announcement. It's a huge announcement for uh, Montana and, and the United States cattle producers because we have been operating with having to have agent source on our beef since the BSE cow, which we never did ship any BSE beef to anybody. And so it's time that this, that this happened. It's going to open up the restrictions on, uh, on grind from cows and bulls and from uh, cattle that we do not have to prove what their ages are. U.S. beef will be U.S. beef. Now, the USDA is estimating that this expanded access could increase U.S. beef and beef product exports to Japan by up to $200 million each year. In some other news, the Farm Service Agency will accept applications beginning June 3rd for certain practices under the Continuous Conservation Reserve Program signup and will offer extensions for expiring CRP contracts. The 2018 Farm Bill reauthorized CRP, one of our country's largest conservation programs. FSA stopped accepting applications last fall for the continuous signup when 2014 Farm Bill Authority expired. Since passage of the new Farm Bill last year, FSA has carefully analyzed the language, though, and has determined that a limited sign-up prioritizing water quality practices, further conservation goals, and just makes sense for producers as the Farm Service Agency works to implement the full program. And speaking of programs, there's a new one here in Montana to offer student debt assistance to young farmers and ranchers, and it has been signed into law by Governor Bullock, and it'll hopefully encourage more young people to pursue a career in agriculture. We're talking about House Bill 431, which will create a student loan debt assistance program to aid young producers in paying off up to 50% of their student loans when they commit to at least five years of farming or ranching. Now, students must have graduated from a Montana University system or college to qualify. The program will be funded through Montana Growth Through Agriculture Grant Program, which has provided funds for strengthening and diversifying agriculture since 19. 87. Well, the USDA is taking steps to further its protection efforts against African swine fever making its way into the United States. The agency is implementing a new surveillance plan in which APHIS will work directly with the swine industry, the states, and veterinary diagnostic laboratories to test for ASF. The disease has never been detected here in this country, but as the U.S. hog industry knows all too well, ASF is a contagious and deadly disease that affects both domestic and wild pigs. That does it from the Egg Desk. Have a great weekend.